mandates also give new guidelines to health care workers. Action 7 News reporter John Cardinelli joins us now. And John, what are the new requirements here in New Mexico? Yeah, Kaylin, so under the new orders, all health care workers are going to be required to get a vaccination. Now, if they're not vaccinated, they have the next 10 days to do so. And earlier today, I caught up with the president of the New Mexico Nurses Association, as well as a state senator who's a doctor, to get their thoughts on the new guidance. Tuesday afternoon, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham announced those who work in hospitals and congregate care facilities will be required to be vaccinated against COVID-19. You need to be confident about your health care. We already have an exhausted health care system exhausted men and women who are caring for us. The New Mexico Nursing Association in favor of today's decision. We support the governor in requiring vaccinations for our health care workers and those who are in congregant situations. Gloria Doherty is the president of the New Mexico Nurses Association. She says most nurses she is in contact with in New Mexico are willing or have already gotten the vaccine. I've heard through grapevines of people who saying they did not want the vaccination but it has not been reported to us as an organization or any of the people that I work with. Human Services Secretary Dr. David Scrace says the percentage of healthcare workers vaccinated is quite high. Doctors are about 99%. Nurses self-reported from the hospitals run around 90. Dr. Scrace said there are roughly 3,000 healthcare workers who are unvaccinated. Let's not push our healthcare workers out. Let, let's find some middle ground where we can uh, just live together and have a more healthy and prosperous society. Let's That's Senator Greg Schmedes. He is also a doctor in New Mexico. He says the new mandate could be detrimental to New Mexico's health care system. Anyone that at any time could be in need of emergency care. I've already heard from multiple hospitals, one, their entire cath lab staff. They're gone if this mandate uh, is hold. What happens if you have a heart attack? They're going to take you to Maybe El Paso or Lubbock. And Doherty agrees. If any nurses walk out, it could cause problems. If nurses were to work out, walk out, there would be a health care crisis. Now, if a nurse is able to show proof that they have an underlying health condition, they will be exempt from getting the vaccine. Reporting live outside UNMH, I'm John Cardinelli for KOAT Action 7 News. John, thank you. Anyone granted an exemption will have to undergo testing on a weekly basis under the order.